issues lately with squats, uh, primarily in my left hip. What I'm going to be doing today is just deadlifting, leg press, quad extensions, leg curls, calves. Today is my high, high carb day, so I have one chocolate rice crispy, one regular rice crispy, white monster, with one scoop of Legion green apple pre-workout. So I'm gonna die probably. This morning I weighed in like 201.6 I think. I'm trying, I'm trying my best not to go more than a pound each week. I've been going over here and there just because I'm not used to balking. I'm just having a tough time transitioning. I've never balked while can counting calories. Everything is an experiment. Everything takes experience and just getting used to and habit. Just keep up with the consistency. That's all you gotta do. Hey, so tell me about the Larry's. Here it was telling me that you guys got what now? I did something with their cookie and they reposted it on their page. That is so awesome because you made it look so appetizing. Yeah, I want you to contact Tasty Cakes for me. You know what one guy did? One guy wrote Tasty Cakes, told him that it's their, it's their favorite cakes in the world and you can't find the chocolate cupcakes nowhere. No stores are, right? They sent him like a lifetime. They told him you're getting a lifetime supply of your favorite cake by us. going to be dead in two years with diabetes. <laughs> looking at what so you looking at my glasses I love them bud They're the greatest glasses you'll ever see yeah for sale DM me for information incredible, incredible. get stolen So ready for this? I need more weight. Incredible. I need more weight. Incredible. There we go. Incredible. Oh. Amazing. Got some nasty looking veins on there, bro. Here we go again. You'll never believe where I'm at. You may be wondering yourself, Jake, why do you go to Chick-fil-A so much? What do you work there? I, I, I tell him no. I tell him no. Uh, I eat at three places, Chick-fil-A, Moe's, and Publix. I'm so sorry about that, go ahead. Look at that. What's this? What's this? I think I got a package. Huh, did I get it? Did I get it? So as you can tell, I wear pretty much only Alphalete. They released some scoop necks. A few months ago, they sold out in two minutes, so I never got mine. I ordered for myself the medium uh, shorts. Finally, finally, finally. I've been wanting this olive scoop for months. I've seen everybody, everybody on Instagram, everybody on YouTube wearing these scoops. And I finally, finally, finally got one. It fits really, really, really good. Really snug around the biceps and kind of in the armpits. It's not like super uncomfortable. Scoop's really nice. It comes down to here. I got the large white scoop. So I really like these shirts because they're really, really simple. I mean, I'm used to wearing like the performance shirts and it's got like the logo all over it. But on these, it's just the tag. And then on the back, it's embroidered Alphalete. So just so you're aware, this is pretty much the only three items of clothing I'm, I'm gonna be wearing for like, at least the next few months. So I got some errands to run. I got my $4 aviators, 
my Alphalete scoop, Alphalete shorts, and my $4,000 pair of real Yeezys. They're real, trust me. And I got my trusty half gallon My Protein water jug. Stepped to the grocery store, got a few bangs, picked up a pizza because I'm too lazy to do anything else. You're not going to believe where I am right now. Decided to pick up a Screamin' Sicilian. I've never had this uh, brand of pizza before, so I'm probably gonna eat the entire thing. Beautiful. Today, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do standing overhead press with cables. We're going to just, just, gonna, just gonna lay down here, just lay down like this, and just gonna, there it is, right there. It's really going to activate your uh, vascular medialis oblique. Uh, care careful of an ant biting your back. Just keep going. Pain is good. CrossFit told me that. Get, get them up from different angles. We're just gonna add a little bit of difficulty in it. There we go. All right, guys, starting out. I'm gonna be teaching you the most important steps to squatting perfectly. Step one. Calm down, Harambe. <laughs> Step one. Spine bracing. You have to do it perfectly every time. So the first. So the first step that you want to do the proper spine bracing is go through a three-step system. And that three-step system is number one: squeeze your glutes as hard as you can because that puts your pelvis back and neutral. Alright, so right now you see how I have an interior pelvic tilt. Bang, look at that. Back to back to normal. Next, breathe into your stomach. Let up a little bit out and brace as you're letting out. Hard as crap. There we go. Perfect. And the third important thing is keeping your chest neutral with your pelvis. And in order to do that, come up. We're gonna come up. In order to do that, squeeze your butt, brace your abs, put your one hand into your pelvis bone, okay? Take the other one, put it in your chest, and you'll be able to see if they're parallel or not. Okay, once you have all that ready, you're good to go. And another super important thing in order to ensure optimal squatting is to create torque in your hips. And to do that, we're gonna spread the floor apart with our legs, and you're gonna feel that all up in here, and that's actually gonna protect your ACL. So, in order to illustrate it, take two fingers like this, all right, take your other hand, squeeze it. Now, if you twist externally, externally, which is, I guess, this way, okay, what happens is it locks it in place. And this is kind of like how the ACL runs over the knee joint, kind of crude, but if you go the other way, it pulls apart, and that's how you tear your ACL. So always create torque in your legs. Packages out in like five minutes. My name's Jacob. Welcome to summer walking. I'm just so tired. I might just go take a nap in the middle of this episode. Oh, all I gotta say is Garrett's stupid piece of trash. Oh, I'm gonna get these packages out in like two minutes. I want to drive 400 miles per hour.
Gotta go fast. If I don't get these packages out in two minutes, I'm gonna, my mom's gonna kill me. Driving real fast, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, we're dead. We're dead. We're going so fast. go to the door then. It's supposed to be open until 11.30. Options. And it's uh, 11.29. Folks, I'll just see what time they're up. So. Alright. That's my fault. 